Yeah, thanks for listening. Uh, again, I'm just going to a little bit more into what I said about different routines, different week cycles, different tempos, uh, different grips and stuff and things. Just keep everything um, simulated. I need different grips and stuff anyway to obviously hit the muscle at different angles. And to obviously fit it fully. You know, if you're doing um, like chest, for example, you know, doing a narrow grip bench press, obviously work your chest quite well in the middle part and also. Um, or you can get a lot of squeeze from pet deck and other sort of things and flies from that, but could keep everything on a kind of a set sort of path really. Um, all silk explanatory, medium wide and in isolation movement. Obviously medium could you put you a good kind of grip to actually do some shrimp stuff without causing any injuries really. Um, you feel a lot more from body wide or narrow angles compared to like a medium which is a central kind of um, angle to be at. Okay, I'm always doing, you know, core movements first, which are like, you know, your presses and your rows and stuff first, and I'm finishing off with an isolation moving afterwards. So I'm going to do like two or three exercises, three, three for chest, three for back, basically three exercises. Always finish off isolation. Again, you can have machines or, um, or cables. I probably would recommend cables for strength stuff, because I think it just, cables aren't, I don't really... I wouldn't really recommend it, I think it's just a lot of tension on there. It can actually cause injury from doing this sort of machines really heavy. So if we stick with like the basics with that really. Um obviously week two again, um week one, see I'm putting explode to start and come back slow. You're trying to get an explosive start and come back nice and slow. And again the negative should be twice the uh, uh, speed coming down as in slowness, where to kind of going all the way up. Um, week two, Peter's all cycle. Pretty much Peter's all is where basically you know getting the isolation done first. You know, wearing out the prime muscle, and when you go to do your prime movements, they're going to be pretty much get tired out from doing that. Which means you probably have higher reps, and um, again, this is a really good way of actually getting a bit more feeling the muscle and isolating things really well and getting a good workout. Um, Again, it's all self explanatory. One of me by no grip again. Uh, <coughs> I'm speed to play as best before another video, other kind of blog type things I put on YouTube. Um, just don't really grip the bar or don't grip anything. You know, when you're doing it, just put your wrist or forearm on the on the pad and just push in like that. Um, obviously, I'm going to vary between different types of things. I'm going to do maybe a fly machine or a pet deck. Always keep those varied to be everything nice and fresh. Um, I always like to do wide and incline. It's a little bit more than doing medium, but again, it really depends on what you feel like. I mean, what to say, you can't do, you know, incline first, or even, you know, chest machines first, or just keep running them around, and I'll put incline first, because I feel that it'd be nice to mix things up a little bit more, than, because you're not really going for strength on this. It's good to go for the movements, really. Uh, push downs, again, tricep push machine, Again, all this is self-explanatory in itself. I'm just doing isolation first, and I'm just basically just finishing off with, um, with obviously the primary movements. Make sure that I'm keeping. See, on last week it was medium first, now it's wide first. So I'm rotating medium and wide all the time to kind of keep the stimulation there. Quick free is hip. Um, sounds a bit strange doing 15 seconds, 13 seconds down, and I'm doing a kind of quite a limited version of hip. As a, I mean, I've never seen some people do this here. I mean, they're spending like two minutes just doing up, but not three minutes down. It's something crazy like that. You can obviously try stuff out. I personally don't like to go that slow. It just doesn't feel the tension as much as I should do, really. <coughs> yeah, uh, medium press or smith uh, reverse grip. Reverse is really good for strength. Really good. Um, the studies done that recently about the effects on upper chest, which were a lot more apparent than doing, not, than doing an incline. Um, kind of debatable, I mean I can obviously push the chest out in such a way that I can feel it on incline anyway, but definitely get a nice uh, feel from that. Nice safe movement, it really feels nice and safe. Again, medium wide, medium, the weak one was soft medium, it went wide, and go back to medium again at the start. Um, because the hit cycle, you don't want to do isolation first on hit cycles, again it's, it's an isolation movement, not very good. Nice, not a very really nice position to put yourself in with injuries and stuff. 
in general they're you know isolated movements are not good to do heavy stuff with or anything like that. Good to have a nice pump, nice to get it working, but I wouldn't rely on those as a primary source of muscle building. It's just too dangerous. They're just going to wreck your joints, put you in a difficult position. A certain exercise you do. Um, difficult, not difficult position, but you know, there's no supporting muscles there at all supporting you, so not really good to do them really heavy. Um, again, I'm always making sure that medium white no around isolation, no one doing isolations at the end. With the isolation, I would say you can try it if you want. I would probably say go more for pump on this sort of thing. You know, you can be depleted so much from doing those primary muscles on the you know, your, your kind of core movements that it's not really worth you trying to do that afterwards. I wouldn't suggest that at all. Again, okay. it's about to see what you decide to do, but isolation movements are deadly pretty much on low reps. They put yourself in such a uh, vulnerable position with your joints and stuff, it's not really worth doing it. Just go for a pump with those, ignore, isolate, not, ignore the hit on you know, that kind of speed on that, just get isolation, get some, get a pump out, that'll be fine. Um, week 4, interesting one, because um, obviously we're trying to get a cool down period, you know, you've done all this stuff in week 1, 2 and 3, you want to have a week off, just relaxing, have a nice workout, for a little joint. Um, very little joint uh, access and not access, but very little joint use really in these sort of weeks. Week four, I'm um, doing this maybe I'm doing this like twice a week really for each body part. So once a week and the others twice a week for this because it's so low volume. It's not really going to do as you know. It's you can you can do it twice a week quite easily and get away with it. So basically, it's very, very limited, very very small movements. Um, doing very little on each on each day really. Just doing literally it's gonna take as long as you're doing one but one exercise for one it's gonna take as much time as it is, sorry. You're doing back triceps and doing the whole this day, this whole thing on our body here. So it's exactly the same. So we're doing pull downs with straps. Again, we're trying to get the joints away from things. Straps are a good way of you just not gripping, keeping everything isolated. Plague machine, um fly machine, no grip. I can't explain it again, pet deck, bicep grip, so she keeping the you know, you're keeping your shoulder when you're on there. You're kind of almost uh, having your your fist and knuckles facing away from you. Bicep grip. Um, side raises and rear delt raises. Now you can do some very light shoulder press and push down with very high reps if you want. Up to you. I try not to do that really. I mean, I'll maybe do it on one day of that cycle. Maybe not the next day, but I don't really want to start doing the heavy movements and all that stuff. It's very tempting to start working as a weight on it, and obviously you're making your ego work for you. So just keep this as a cool down period and lower body leg extension, hat squats, um, sit calves, very really good for isolation. Again, not trying to go for weight on this one, just trying to you know have a, a, a cycle of some sort of cool down period. You can do this once a week if you want, but again, you may need a week off anyway every say three months just to get you everything working but because you have a cool down period with high reps for at least one you know part of the month um, then that'd be really good to like, get, get your joints all rested and get yourself ready because we need that strength cycle next week you know not feeling that quite a lot because your know, week before was quite chilled out and cooled down so and then you can vary all the exercises but um, again with with strength you need a medium grip on first because obviously you need to have power movements and hit as well don't do isolation movements in that same fashion or first in the wrecking up your joints because isolation movements are not a really good idea unless you're very very um, if you've been trained for quite a long time you're probably used to it or you, you've got that kind of I can pretty much use that sometimes on like low weights but I know it's not very good for you so I would never do um, isolation movements on low reps it's just not good for your joints at all, and it's going to put you in bad positions, so all your joints and stuff, and ligaments and things. So, it's basically what I do. So, uh, good luck with your uh, regime, and again, keep it varied. Just don't stick with the same rep ranges and grips and stuff. You get so used to it, your body's going to get really bored really quick, and it's going to just not grow as much. Um, and that's the reason why people give up, they don't grow very much, they've got the same routine. So, just change everything around, and this is what I do right now. Um, you may have an eight week cycle, you may want to mix things up. Maybe you have a week five, maybe if you're doing 
maybe it put exhaust cycle first, or even maybe you're doing maybe one movement doing it in hip fashion, next movement do it in um, almost, you know, or you may want to do a pre exhaust first and do a hit afterwards. Um, just mix things up, try stuff out. And you're only the only person that knows about how your body works, not how it actually works for you. Um, so just mix things up all the time, do everything different, but have your core of what you should be doing in each, in each cycle, really. Obviously, in very that, but again, you don't want to do anything with strength and hit. That's going to be machines first, not machines, but sorry, isolation first. I just won't want to help you out at all, you know, it won't make you any stronger. And it will obviously put you, if anything, in a vulnerable position with your joints and stuff. So, so anyway, good luck, and uh, thanks for listening.